aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle versus this time the Chicago Ursa Ring or Greg or Slow Formula. Hey, keep on going forever. Can I feel like that? But <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I have been, of course, in the MMBA Season 3 for uh, this season. And while there haven't been plenty of uploads from that, it mainly has to do because I was moving. It came in a not-so-good time, and I've been kind of hard to keep you guys up to date. I made it to quarterfinals, though, and this is just that game. And we had similar games, actually, before playoff. And it was really exciting going into this game again, knowing that we were probably prepping in the same way. Uh, he has a team that... Uh, is basically this team. He was using this exact team versus me last time, and uh, I basically had close to that team again myself. And the only thing I can say here, as you guys see, is we have um, Victini, Thunderous, Hitmon Chan, Sharpedo, the regular one, Nido King, and Keldeo. Um, he didn't bring Confregus, which is something that still perplexes me, mainly because I have Stoutland on my team. I do believe Stoutland rips apart his team with really no issue, and. Um, yeah, I stated, pretty darn surprised. Uh, I actually don't bring Stoutland due to that very reason, and that is, well, unfortunate in some way, but at the same time, we're going to have an even match due to it. I have a team of Curran Black with uh, Shuffleberry to be able to take a Secret Sword from Keldeo. Then we have Gigalith, B with Left or Reset, Physically Defensive, Houndoom this time around, Special Offensive with Pursuit and Destiny Bond. Then the fillers is basically Fire Blast, and I do believe it are pulls. Um, after that, we have Tabafini, defensive set, fully defensive, at least close to, with Taunt, Moonblast, Surf, and Nature Madness, not Defog. And that was a bit of an oversight, I actually didn't think about it at the time, but I do have a team that is slightly weak to rock, so good thing it's only possible to start rock over here is his Nido King. Uh, Necrozma is different, this Wipe Bell is not the defensive variant with Lift Towards this time, it's an Assault West variant. Uh, with uh, he heavy special attack in bond with it. Uh, main here is to actually deal with his Sharpedo, who definitely shaked me very well last time. I'm not going to be in that environment again. So we have Psychic Dark Pulse, uh, Power Gem, and Brick Break. So a bit of a weird set here, but its main issue here is to deal with Nido King and Keldeo, who did push me really well last time. I kind of want to have that for that situation if it transpired to it. And the last one, fully speed, uh, fight UMC Verision with Source Sands. Um, nothing to it. This specific situation of Verision is really good versus him. There aren't that many Pokemon that deals with it. And of course, Keldeo and Verision has a speed tie. I lost that very speed tie last time. Um, but, you know, it was. I thought his Keldeo was Scarf, but it wasn't. Uh, it was actually a spec, so that's why he actually KO'd me. Uh, so that's a situation that, you know, it can transpire here. It's between Kelly and Verisian. They are definitely checking each other and okoing one another if they face each other. So that's going to be interesting. I don't like to having that in, keeping that in mind. Uh, but yeah, with all of that, let's of course go into the match. Now, I do decide here from the get-go to lead off with my Cure in Black. It might actually not have been an ideal lead seeing the matchup. I was basically, you know... What is the best switch? And he's not going to leave with Big Teen again like he did last time. Yes, he is. Uh, now, I don't have a switch in here necessarily. Gigalith is my main switch in though. Grass Nut does do 40% of me, which will be unfortunate. And a low kick can probably kill me. So, that's that was something I kept in mind as I was switching Gigalith. Like, go for U-turn or V-Crate. My god, go for whatever you want. I don't care. As he goes for U-turn, that's good. Since we're full defensive, we can soak this. Hell, we eat this for breakfast. And he's going to bring Justice, which is Keldeo. Uh, versus Keldeo here, I really, really was thinking, you know, Secret Sword probably KO us if it's a spec set. And he wouldn't switch it in if it wasn't specs. With that in mind, I can't switch in Feeny Heller because he could very well go for Hidden Power Electric, which is exactly what he does. And the damage will tell us that fucker is specs. That does damage. And uh, yeah, we do get a lot of damage onto us across my pretty darn early. And here I actually decided to go for a Brick Break, as he's switching Winston again, his uh, Big Teeny. And I was thinking, alright, this is your response here. You're going to see Brick Break, so you're going to be stressed. If I do this next time, I will go for Dark Pulse, knowing that this is your switch into this. Because Rocks is not easy for me to set up. Now, I'm pretty sure he'll go for a U-turn here, but I, I have to do something. And the something is a Rexy, my type of Feeny. 
And this is a bit of an issue, mainly because I know if you U-Turns, Thunderous, and Nidoking both can Oko this Pokemon depending on their sets, and I really don't want to gamble with them at all. So we see Ball coming into Nidoking, and I, like I said it here, Life Orb Sludge Wave, yeah, that's, that's killable, that's Pruda's in range of what I would call the fuck. That's not good. So <laughs> we gotta get out, of course we do. And my best switch in at this point was Rudra. Um, it was either that or Gigalith, but the issue with Gigalith is that if it goes for an Earth Power, that could very well kill us. Oh, Gigalith does shake Virision and the Thunder is fairly well. He does get an unfortunate crit here on me, and I do say unfortunate because that pushes us over 50%, and I do decide here to actually go for an Ice Beam over Roost, because of thinking, you know, he probably tried to go for a KO, which he didn't, and that's that's what it is. So with that said, you know, he's definitely going to go for a Mac Punch here. I, that, that is the play, right? You know, if any part of anything, that's probably going to be it. As um, he's not going to do anything. And I'm going to predict him now to go for Gors the Victini. And um, Dark Pulse at best is 50%. Victini is fat after all. But we do go for Dark Pulse. Boom! Victini! Victini, you're done! Oh, really? Um, I actually switches out here. I can't take a V-Create anyway. So I'm going to bring Helgar. Predicting, you know, the V-Create, which is not coming. That's great. U-Turn clearly does a lot of us. Uh, he's actually going to bring Hitmonchan here. And I was thinking, you know, I could with Fire Blast Scorch him here. He's not going to go for Mag Punch. Mag Punch might actually not KO. So with that in mind, I basically, you know, fuck it. We're going to go for Fire Blast. We're going to freaking Scorch this fucker. As, um, sadly, he's a Soul Mist, but we get the burn. And he goes for Drain Punch, but no. No, two to drain punch and the burn there. Clearly, we survived that, and you know, we are fine. Uh, big issue though is that I really can't state that's enough. The biggest of issues here that mock punch will definitely kill us. So, uh, I need to bring back Taos or my Necrozma. It's it's my main response here. It, it really is it. As it goes for Mac Punch, it still isn't doing anything. That's a solid 10 HP. I do believe it's on par with his rapid spin, which will show me here thinking he was lower. He is not. Actually, actually, Mag Punch is stronger. Mag Punch did uh, 10, Rapid Spin did 6. Alright, we would go for Psychic Strand and just a KO. Now it brings the Winston. Um, thinking about it, I should probably sack play something here, like my Cure in Black. I do stay in here as it goes through V Crate, and this is gonna KO, of course, and we we'll lose Dows. We'll lose our main switch into Kelly, actually, by that. So that's unfortunate. It's not game breaking, but that's unfortunate. Necrosman would have been really nice to his wife about, as I'm bringing in Vulcan. I can. I know he's locked in, so so that's good. As I can easily go for Stealth Rock here, since his one chat is done and dead. The unfortunate part is here that Justice to Keldeo is still a really good switch in, and now with ne 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 when it cross my gone, I don't have that good of a switch in back. Um, I really have to make a choice here. You know which Pokemon do I want to wheel down? Uh, Houndoom and Kieran Black clearly are you know dying based on a switch in. So, ideally here, I actually decided to go for Feeny anyway, knowing or hoping that it went for a Secret Sword, as um, luckily that is what it does. And it does save me somewhat here, because it puts me in a range where I can definitely retaliate. And knowing that Nino King is a possible switching for possible Moonblast, I know already this is Spex, I know he's not going to stay in, or if it stays in, I could pull a pretty strong double to actually my Cure in Black. Uh, now I don't do that, I actually go directly for Surf, I invested a bit of a special attack here to be able to actually KO Nido King here for this Wife of Bell. Um, find out later that um, he actually get a pretty decent roll in his favor here because he survived some pretty much the shittiest HP. Uh, he had some investment HP, which meant that he had 10% um, chance of surviving that. And he did. And that's fair. But <laughs> anyway, you know, it is what it is, as I'm forced to switch out to kill Rudra. What is really, really ball-busting here for me, and I really mean that, is it goes for Stealth Rocks. That kills Houndoom and Curin Black on switching. There is no way I'm taking that back. Uh, he's probably switching into my Houndoom would have been an overall stronger play here. And then Curin Black, no one that could very well go for Stealth Rocks. I didn't think of that at the time, but yeah, that sucked. As he's switching now, and it's Winston. Uh, I do have a decent chance here, though. Um, Stealth Rocks, is, or I mean... Um, what I can do here is actually secure in black, bring in Gigalith, and from Gigalith basically uh, taunt him, not, not taunt him, but basically force him to attack me and get some damage on me, sacking Houndoom, making it able to, if it was not Scarf, which is, to U-turn, 
Um, so that is what I'm gonna do, because I, at this point, Virision is looking pretty darn stellar to wrap the game for me. That's that's overall my best response as a whole. As I'm gonna switch out there and go and sack Helgar, poor, poor Houndoom. He was supposed to be the main star in Urkel Hitmonchan, but no, a Solvest happened. Glad he got to burn though. So we, we kick off the V-Create out of the field. Um, Victini really was annoying his wife about I'm really glad we got this out of the way. So I'm gonna switch in Dine because it's the healthiest mod I have. Uh, as it bring in the Yibikure, I think Yibikure, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, predicting the Protect here, my overall best switching is even if it has Poison Jab switching Fini. Fini is very, very sackable at this point. There is no way Fini is gonna do anything good for me throughout this Wi Fi battle at all. Um, outside of possible surviving um, a secret sword from the Keldeo, but that's about it. Thunderous is a real threat now, and if I'm doing anything, I'm going to attack. That's that's my main response to anything. Or as long as you know the status go and Giggle should be a decent response to actually deal with uh, the Keldeo, or I mean the Thunders as a whole. As we see, Senhabut, that's good because it doesn't do any damage onto us. But uh, the main main thing is a good thing is I really can't say this enough. He is not staying. He's sacking it. This is really good. Uh, he also shows that he's predicting for Verision or designing with that in mind. So, so we're doing fine here. It's with Raiden comes in. Now, I was hoping, I was hoping for the love of God, please be nasty plot. Be something weird. Be scarf. But no, he shows my agility. That's both good and bad because I do decide to stay in and go for the moon lads and actually do a decent chunk here. Uh, not enough as I wanted, and I don't get a special attack drop, which would have been even better. But yeah, at this point, I need to sack my Tapu Fini. I can't do anything else. What I'm baiting on it, or actually hoping for, is to see Life Orb as it goes for an attack. Here it goes for Thunderbolt. He is clearly faster than anything on the field. Um, and that's going to KO, but a critical hit would definitely didn't matter. But uh, we don't see Life Orb. So I'm thinking, oh my god, he's 5DMC. And if he's 5DMC with Focus Blast, he might very well KO. And you know, I am basically, I have an impulse here, because if we KO the Thunderous, we might very well win this Wi-Fi battle. We see the C-move, but it's something else. He's going with the mind. It's, it's Shattered Psyche. Oh, oh, wait. We can definitely take this. Now, I go for Stone Edge, so I know already that things, things could actually happen here. I could miss the Stone Edge, but you know, I train my Vulcan well. And he's gonna freaking kick Raiden's ass with rocks in the, in the ass, clearly. So, his last Pokemon now is Keldeo. My last Pokemon, because, you know, clearly Gilev is not gonna take this Pokemon on, is, um, is Brision. So, we are down to the exact same situation as we was when we were battling in, um, um, in the regular league before playoff. So, he locks himself into the Secret Sword. I cannot take a spec Secret Sword with my Vrishion. I need to win this speed tie. If I lose the speed tie, I'll lose the whole game. But I am healthy, so it's too bad that it's specs. But, you know, we can still win the speed tie. But no! Yet again, we'll lose the speed tie. And Greg win this Wi-Fi battle 1-0. And, my honest opinion, a very fair 1-0 at that. But, yeah, we do get knocked out here from the quarterfinals. And a very, very good game. Like... If I have to say anything, you know, losing, yeah, it's always terrible, it's always a bad time, and, you know, I did some hiccups play here, I definitely believe, um, I definitely believe I missed a few opportunities of doing really well, but at the same time here, Greg is really playing well, and I do believe we both get a pretty good performance out of one another, and losing the same way again, losing speed type versus Kelly versus Verzion, it's not that bad. Uh, last time I lost because I was half-assing it, or basically, you know, um, I wasn't... I haven't didn't have the ideal team as I thought I did. I have you know, a few missed gens in here and there. But this time, you know, this time I was trying. I was doing my very best. And I think I lose the game when I am sacking Necrozma versus Verision. I definitely should have sacked Cure and Black there. Mainly because Necrozma overall would still have been relevant to the very end. Uh, him locking himself in the V Crave would have changed the fact I still wouldn't get in the Stealth Rocks up. That's the only big misplay I do. The other one could possibly be that uh, versus his, um, or what do you call it? Um, sorry, versus Thunderous as it goes for uh, agility, I should have switched out directly to Gilith, but I couldn't survive a Thunderbolt Focus Blast combination if it was Life Orb. So the ideal play was still to stay in, even though it would have probably changed the whole game as a whole. Um, that said, 
you know, consider my season being so bad, I actually barely made playoff, uh, and Greg almost won every one of his game. I do believe he's a fair winner to continue. He's a fair player for this league to continue. I have assets, as I said, was moving. Uh, I don't believe my performance is showcasing a, a way of actually being able or deservative to actually win the finals overall, even though it, it could have been very likely. I like this team, really. I did. Um, I really, really did. Uh, if I had to change something that would have changed the outcome, of course, was uh, exchanging Hure and Black for Stoutland with his wife, Abel. I don't believe uh, Greg would have any chance for Bandit Stoutland whatsoever. Uh, Hitman Chan would easily never be a switch in here, would just die. Uh, his Victini would not have been able to take a Bandit after Stealth Frogs. You know, there are situations here like that that clearly are pointing that, you know, this is something that Greg was avoiding or not thinking about or just had a hiccup and didn't think about it or he was straight hoping i was building the same team and i'm pretty much sure i did which is but unfortunately it's kind of cool at the same time that we actually get pretty much the same type of game again and i can definitely appreciate that i, I really can um now if anything you know also think if if my version was a scarf clearly would have just wrapped up the game right there but we, we lost to keldio and i think it's fair to lose to keldio again it was just it's kind of ironic considering my my intro um, as I used for a few weeks, um, clearly got actually, um, uh, I got a strike on that video, so I decided to stop using it. But it was basically Curran Black stomping on Kelio, like, you, you piece of shit. And I got stomped by it twice, that's, that's ironic. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to thank you guys for supporting this kind of style of this season. I'm sorry I haven't been so many uploads about that. Uh, like I said in here short time um i'm really glad i made played off and, and i really was doing my ex my very best here well if you hiccup plays i still do this game really well greg was just on par with me here and it, it turned out to be one hell of a game and it came down to wire and that's exactly how i want my matches uh so greg thank you for of course for the wife about itself really good job buddy and good luck here in the semi-finals beat the rude's ass you never hear me say that but yeah it's one of the few chances you get to actually do it so you know <laughs> make use of it and that's it guys thank you of course as always for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye